Let's talk about bad company in this week's installment of Wednesday Encouragement. I'm a Generation X kid. We are considered the last generation that spent more time outside than inside. We had to make our own fun. I'm also one of five boys, so whatever we did was generally dangerous. We built ramps and rode our dirt bikes off of them. We jumped off of cliffs. We did rope swings. We blew things up. And we generally encourage each other to do things that were detrimental to our health. And my mom would often say, if somebody asked you to jump off a cliff, would you do it? And nine times out of 10, the answer was probably yes. So my mom made us memorize this verse from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33, which says, do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. The older I get, the more this verse makes sense to me. Last week I talked about EGRs or being gracious with people that annoy you that you can't avoid. That being said, there are also sometimes people in our lives that we should avoid and dare I say cut off from our lives. This doesn't mean that we stop being kind or gracious or trying to see people the way God sees them. But if they're having more of a negative impact on you than you are having a positive impact on them, it's time to take a break. So this week, let's do an inventory of friends and family and keep those in our lives who have a positive impact on us and we have a net positive impact on them. You got this. Go in peace.